Hey everybody, today we're doing another species spotlight and this one is on Japanese rat snakes. He's been very flighty since we pulled him out of the cage. This is like take seven of this video, so hopefully this does pretty good. So Japanese rat snakes, they're called that for a pretty obvious reason and that's they come from Japan. So it's that little island archipelago of the nation of Japan where they come from a couple different islands. They're actually fairly common there. Um, snakes have a little bit of a different kind of cultural influence as uh, in a lot of the Asian or Eastern countries versus here in America. They're held a little bit more of in a higher regard. They're a little bit more spiritual and things like that. Even in this kind of day and age, a lot of them are still kind of, they're, they're, they're better left alone than a lot of the times here in the States. But these guys are really cool. I love Asian rat snakes and colubrids in general. But Asian rat snakes, you know, they kind of have this bit of a na of a uh, a bit a bit of a bad reputation for being very bitey, very flighty, and very defensive. And that can be the case, but that's just something that kind of comes with that. But I love these guys because they're re really close in appearance and behavior to kind of the the beauty snakes. So like the Taiwanese, Chinese beauties, the Ridley Eye, the cave snakes but they don't get nearly as long. And for the most part, they don't have nearly that kind of same kind of temperamental attitude or, or anything like that. They're very defensive. They're very reactive snakes. They have those big eyes that are very attuned to movement. So unlike a lot of other snakes like pythons and boas that are more ambush hunters that are going off of scent and heat, they're definitely more active. They're more visually acute at snakes like that. But like I said, I was I, getting off topic again. So they don't get very large. You know, some of those beauty snakes can get over six feet long. These guys, there he goes. Um, these guys really only get about three, four feet long. So they stay a very manageable size. These guys are super cool because they are such, they, they really only have kind of one pattern to say. They do come in albino morph, but they don't have like a bunch of different patterns like uh, banding checkered or anything like that. They're all pretty much the same thing, but they can be a little bit variable in color where they're kind of this olive green, blue, turquoisey kind of color, especially on their bellies and on their side, on their uh, on their collar scales. And they're just really cool, cute little guys, and he is not really having it, so I'm gonna wrap this up as best as I can. Um, they don't need to be kept nearly as hot as like a ball python or a boa or something like that. Um, only something like in the room temps, like, no, like a hot spot of like 85 to 88 degrees is really all you need. So kind of keeping room temp like you do with a lot of other like crested geckos and stuff like that around like 77, uh, 78 degrees up to like 85 is their hot spot. They still need uh, humidity because they do come from southeastern or they do come from Asia, um, not mainland Asia, but they still need humidity and stuff like that. So give them a humid hide, give them a big water dish to soak in, make sure it's always clean and all that jazz. They're fairly arboreal. That's kind of kind of what it comes with with like the with these more diurnal uh, sight oriented snakes um, is that that they're really arboreal. So regardless of what you're keeping them in, and like I said, these guys don't get huge, so they don't need a giant enclosure. Make sure you give them places to climb on branches, the fake plants, whatever it is. Just give them plenty of places to kind of move around and explore. These guys love to climb. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about Japanese rat snakes, I don't have the Kunisher Island rat snake, which is that other one that comes from specifically Kunisher Island, which is its own separate species. But if you have any questions about Japanese rat snakes, about you know what they eat, I guess I could say that really quick. Sorry guys, you'll never need more than an adult mouse for one of these guys. Um, but you know, any questions about any, about Japanese rat snakes or really any species of snake in general? I'll do my best to answer them. Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you guys like this video. Anyways, improving them. Please let me know. Please like and subscribe. I hope you have a good day and I'll check you next time.